What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. It's time to bring this game back, and that's the topic of this video. When do you bring this game back? So, we talked about this before, but here we are at the uh, beginning of November. Gotham Knights is still around, still around and still being played, but, you know, that era really has moved on. It's something we've talked about on this channel, and why do I, you know, mention it like that? Well, I really believe Suicide Squad watched is kind of Gotham Knights and knows when to or when to not talk about their game and not like the game itself like it's sentient but the company Warner Bros I do think they have a plan generally with Hogwarts with Gotham Knights with Suicide with, with all their games and a lot of publishers do this in general you don't want one to kind of walk over the other and it depends on the game so Suicide Squad being DC being a co-op and you know of sorts kind of game similar to Gotham Knights but also definitely different enough but you don't don't really want Suicide Squad out around the same time as Gotham Knights. You don't want it making the media rounds because you're, you're going to take away from Gotham Knights. But with Gotham Knights done, that really opens up Suicide Squad. So I can easily imagine Suicide Squad taking those next steps uh, very, very soon. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So actually, as of the time I'm recording this, uh, earlier today, I think PlayStation Game Size reported on that there, there could be like an in internal test going on or maybe even like a beta uh, build of the game. So it's possible there's, there's things really moving back there. But I really don't think this game is all that far away. I think considering this game was delayed, you have to also think, yeah, it probably isn't that far away. Uh, you go into 2023, I would be shocked, and I've said this before, I'd be shocked if the game came out after the second half of the year or during I guess the second half of the year so I think this is the first six months of the year thing I don't think it's immediate I know I've, I've said June I think June makes a lot of sense it is when Arkham Knight came out uh, so there's a little bit of history there but they're not you know like Arkham Asylum was August right the end of August so I don't think there needs to be or there is a month that Rocksteady um, you know prefers over other months but I think it just makes sense that you still want Gotham Knights out, you want it doing well, and although Hogwarts, right, isn't DC in the slightest, it's very different than that, um, you normally don't have games releasing, if you're a publisher, you don't have games releasing too close to each other, so Hogwarts gets early February, in my opinion, that takes Suicide Squad off the board until at least March, right, at least early March, you give it, it can't come out in January, it wouldn't come out in February because of Hogwarts, and then uh, it would come out maybe, and I'm saying the absolute early would be sometime in March. So when would we see it again? I think the Game Awards, like, although, you know, it's a cop-out kind of answer, right? Because, like, literally anything, all of your dreams could happen at the Game Awards, technically, but but will they is the question. And, you know, we had it last year. They showed it. And so it does seem like, okay, we're just kind of uh, you know, returning and doing the same thing over. I think Jeff Keighley has talked about that he actually doesn't like having games return, like reoccurring games. Um, I'm pretty sure he said that once. I could just be making that up. But, you know, if that's the case, uh, maybe that hurts the argument but I would I would be kind of surprised if we didn't see Suicide Squad before the end of the year um, I think even sometime in in December for like a Christmas thing if their Twitter accounts say were to become active all of a sudden and whether that turns into like a post or I guess a trailer at the end of the line right however it works uh, that would still be kind of cool to do in December I, I would imagine and again like I don't know I think you could have heroic assault that's the four-player co-op mode for Gotham Knights right that comes out like the very end of November November, I think November 29th. Do you hold off on Suicide Squad until that's done? I mean, I think still in a sense, maybe. Um, I, I really am going to lean into that they probably are just keeping Suicide Squad away from Gotham Knights because I do think, like, and using Hogwarts honestly as an example, there are ways of promoting your game slightly, ever so slightly kind of quietly and just kind of letting the community go with it and Hogwarts has done that I think Hogwarts has been able to do that because it's not DC so they can have their Twitter rolling and they can connect with fans and all this stuff through Twitter while Gotham Knights uh, was leading into releasing and then when Gotham Knights released Suicide Squad again maybe maybe it can't and I, I think it makes sense right you don't want people in the lead up or even right now you're still trying to sell Gotham Knights you're still you know the, the game the game is out but the game 
doesn't sell every single unit in its lifetime in the first two weeks. It's going to sell over time, and you still want eyes on it. And so maybe there's some sort of directive to Suicide Squad and, and Rocksteady where it's like, well, hold off until you know this time period. And you know, I think it makes a lot of sense to let November go and have it still be Gotham Knights month. And then you have the heroic assault, the, the, the co-op mode or the four player mode at the end of the month. And then in December, you start to move away from it. And you start to move towards Suicide Squad. I've talked a lot about it from like the reverse angle where like Gotham Knights, if they're going to do DLC, they don't have long. In my opinion, they really got to do it before Suicide Squad starts to ramp up. Because I think the, the focus will, I think people will stay, some people, but I do think overall the focus will shift on to the next thing. It's kind of just uh, people's mentality. They go to the next thing. So I think that'll happen very soon. And so that's why they got to get DLC out, you know, as fast as possible. I'll predict we get something Suicide Squad related, like reminding us that the game still exists. Although we remember and we know maybe, you know, larger audiences or, you know, more normal, you know, audiences that aren't paying attention, let's say, right? Maybe they don't remember Suicide Squad is around. So I think something to remind them uh, before the end of the year. And I'd imagine it's, it's not going to be a, a very slow turnaround. I think it's going to happen really, really fast because I, I do think, well, obviously, you would expect Suicide Squad to come out next year. If it got delayed further, that would be a problem. So it's going to come out next year. I think it's the first half of next year, and that's not all that far off. And uh, what we've seen companies kind of do, right, is have a, a very fast, like a two, three month window. You show a bunch of the game, game comes out two, three months later. I think we're going to get that for like Jedi Survivor. We're going to get like loads of info for a couple months. Bam, the game is out. And I think we'll get that for Suicide Squad as well. Within the next six, seven, eight months, you know, things are going to really, really pick up for this game. But let me know what you guys think, kind of the roadmap that you see in your head for Suicide Squad Kill a Justice League. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up. If you want to follow or support me anywhere else, all my social media is in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.